Today, we're going to talk about the lens hood for X106. First up is the Haoge LHX54B square metal lens hood with 49mm adapter ring. Yeah, the name is Haoge. I speak Chinese, so I know. In the package, you have the lens hood, the adapter ring, and a spare weather seating o ring. I'd say the boot quality is as expected. Everything's made of metal, the threads feel pretty tight. Overall, it's a decent product. Now, let's install it and see how it looks. Since this kit comes with an adapter ring, so you can still use your favorite filter with the lens hood. My biggest problem with this kit is because it's a screwed on lens hood, so I can't really tell if it's straight or not. So my OCD kicks in and I have to double check or triple check to make sure it's lined up perfectly. I think I've seen this type of lens hood mostly on Leica cameras. Is it originally a Leica design? You guys tell me in the comment section. I have to say, I like the design of this lens hood on X106. It looks really clean and low profile. The bonus point is, with this lens hood, you can actually use OEM lens cap. Although it significantly increases the length of the lens and uh, looks like an afterthought. Next up is the JJC LHX100 lens hood with adapter ring. And it's a direct copy of the Fujifilm LHX100 lens hood for a much cheaper price. And the lens hood is a bayonet type and is circular, so my OCD got saved. And comparing with the Hauge square lens hood, the JJC feels a little bit on the thinner side. I believe it's the difference between the designs. And it seems like JJC doesn't have a weather seating o-ring. Same with Hauge, JJC is also filter compatible. At this point, I think I should have got the um, silver version of this lens hood because my camera is silver. And since it's the Fujifilm original design, it does look good on the X106. With this lens hood, you can simply use a generic 49mm lens cap and it sits inside of the lens hood. It looks a little bit cleaner to me than the Hauge square lens hood. What do you think? Now to compare the size of the two lens hoods. Without the lens cap, they are pretty much the same size. And this is the comparison between the three different adapter rings, including the silver one I got from Amazon earlier. All three are pretty much the same size. Here's the size comparison with the lens cap on. And uh, this is what you see through the OVF. Haoge on the left and JJC on the right. The main reason you use a lens hood is to stop straight light coming onto your lens, which can create lens flare and give your images less contrast. What you're seeing now is my ghetto setup for testing out how well the lens hoods work. It's not scientific by any means. Are you able to spot any difference? I know I can't. And this is the last and probably the most important function of a lens hood on a fixed lens camera. To protect the lens. 
I think at this point we can all agree that the lens hood on the X106 is more for aesthetics than anything else. For the previously mentioned reasons, I do like the JJC or the Fujifilm design a little bit better. Because of my OCD, I just can't handle the square lens hood, you know? Like, is it straight? Do you think it's straight now? Maybe a little bit to the right? No, is it too much? I think it's too much. Oh, whatever. So, which one do you like? And what are your reasons? Do tell me in the comment section. Now, additional information to my last video. Okay, the rubber ring for the shutter button is so that it doesn't come loose. So, I'm putting it on. Okay, next, the KNF magnetic adapter kit. The magnet on the adapter ring actually triggers the camera to think there is a teleconverter, which might cause autofocus issue. I experienced once, but I cannot recreate it. So use this filter kit at your discretion. That's all for today. Links of the lens hood in the description section. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.